Black Sheep Studio and Big Ben Interactive have released a game for the starving volleyball video game market. That game is Spike Volleyball. The only question, is it any good? And that is what we are going to find out today. My name is Drew Moss for Sports Gamers Online. Let's get right into the review for Spike Volleyball. Presentation is kind of all over the place in this game. I personally really like the menus. They do occasionally load at weird times, but it looks modern and it's relatively easy to find where you are going. The player models for both males and females look like something straight from the PlayStation 3 slash 360 era. And apart from minor differences, they all sort of just kind of look the same. The courts and stadiums look really good though, and the sounds of the ball in the court are all great. Commentary is a strange one. There is an option to change languages, but apart from a really generic line at the beginning of a match, and I believe occasionally at timeouts, they're just sort of quiet the whole time. There's no input in actual gameplay. And now it's time to play the first service in this fantastic match. I actually do not hate the control system in this game. It feels a little odd at first since the left stick does not actually move anyone around. Instead, you have to use the face buttons to bump the ball in the air, press another button to select who you want to set the ball, and then either spike it or loft it over the net. While defending, you can move your players with the triggers and blocking is done by pressing the square or X button. I actually really do like this idea, even though it is kind of quick time eventy. I personally believe that this is something that future volleyball games can build off of. However, this game does not really register your inputs or my player does a really strange animation. I've seen players on the wrong side of the net clear across the court, dive for the ball. People in perfect position suddenly dive or just flat out miss. Which that is the oddest of them all because a lot of physics in this game is just completely ignored. There are so many instances where someone will just miss completely, but somehow the gust of wind was strong enough to spike the ball perfectly, going right through my blocker's hands all of them who all jump at the exact same time doing the exact same animation. And those animations themselves are also just not good. It's really ugly. This game in motion is just extremely ugly. The AI on both your team and the other team is just a mess. The gameplay in this game is just terrible. Flat out terrible. So for game modes, you got the obvious friendly match where you can select either male or female teams which again, team selection controls are kind of weird. There's also a my team, my career, career my team mode. I'm not really sure, it kind of has two names. This kind of serves as this game's, let's say franchise mode. It's kind of a combination between an ultimate team and a franchise mode. You create a team in a team creator, which is actually not half bad and go through tournaments and seasons to improve your team. You use stuff like V credits for scouting and then no scouting will come up with new players for you that you can possibly get. This is so different than your standard ultimate team and standard franchise modes. I kind of like this idea. There is of course a tutorial mode which you actually get thrown into the first time you start the game. There is online quick play as well as a challenges mode that give you V credits which you can use inside your career my team. The game seems really focused around that game mode. That's the one that pops up on the screen the most. That's the one that has by far the most depth than anything else here. As much as I kind of wanted to like this game because there is not very many volleyball games out there for every good thing that it does and there is some good here. It just does something completely awful. The gameplay is just bad in this game. It has potential and occasionally you might get one volley per match that's pretty good. But overall, as a total package, the gameplay just completely ruins this game and really makes this game extremely hard to get into. Have you played Spike Volleyball? If so, comment what you think about it down below, like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for the next time that we post a video.